Dungeon Master's Game Dungeon. Oh, hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Dungeon Master's Game Dungeon. Let's play Majora's Mask. The Nintendo 64. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was bad. That was bad. That was very, very bad. There we go. That's better. Let's see if we can left the computer volume on. Um, I learned that the game was really loud and my voice was about the same volume, so I turned down the recording for the computer a little bit. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, the stuff back there, um, I apologize. So, take me with you. You want to know about the Skull Kid that just ran off, right? Well, they just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Anyway. Good, so it's settled. I didn't say anything! Well, I said things, but long did. Now then, I'll be your partner at least until we catch that Skull Kid. My name's Tattle, so uh, nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? Figure something. Yeah, yeah. Flowers here. Yeah, I don't need to know. I know how to go, I know how to play the game. I know how to play the game, Chattel. Yeah. Okay. That was a close one, but I'm too pro for you, Cliff. There, you see that? You can do it. Try. Huh. Is that all? Why can't I speed through this? Or even just... I love this game so much, and I really, really want that Skull Kid figurine. Now we're inside the clock tower. You know, I never really explored back here much. Is like a treasure chest or something? Nope. Just a whole lot of nothing. Big stairs. Well, that's for sure. Tons of stairs. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? I so wanted to cosplay as him at MK. You know, there still might be time to get that cosplay ready. I mean, uh, to work on some stuff, but it would be fun because they have a masquerade ball at MK, and I really want to cosplay as him. I own the Happy Masks Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and I found you. Now, you don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. You can get back my precious item that was stolen from me. From, that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that you stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be should by no means be a different task. 
accept. The one thing is that I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave the place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring back the thing. Bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll you'll be fine. I see a young and I have I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. Five minutes in. Oh, that's right. You sort of push them open. Dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. South clock tower. Sip some tea. I just splattered tea all over my head. Look at that. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the. Oh, sorry, just thinking out loud. For three days, even we never. Even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a me measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, if you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. Go see the Great Fairy there. Now, hold on. Hold up. I'm pretty sure in my epic cheat code book, I have written down... Sims, Kazooie, Sonic, Last Vikings, Rune to Life. Come on, I know I didn't I write them all down. I thought I wrote down all the songs. I have a song of healing and a song of time written down. But nothing else. So oh, but I do have the code for um uh, oh my sister wrote down a uh, ship game. Um but I do have the code written down for those stupid little kids, so I don't even have to chase them down. I don't knock off my time a bit. Just go here, get the fairy, and enter right away. I don't even have to chase the kids around. No, dude. I should totally enter this place over here and deposit all the rupees I collected. That was the whole point of collecting them. We're at eight minutes. West Clock Town. Yeah, I already know what he says. I don't really care much. I just want to deposit those last eight rupees. Look at you! Lock. Alright, there we go. Now those are safe. Got the fairy. I'll get my spit bubble magic. Leave me alone, dog! Leave me alone! Leave me alone, doggy! Don't want- Oh my gosh, it's falling- Ah! Dog! Dog attack! Mad dog! No, I bet everyone upstairs, because I'm not in my room for once, they could hear me and they're like, What are you talking about? It's Tingles! 
everyone's favorite flying fruitcake. This peanut butter gamer. Alright, the fairies. Little creepy. Here we go. Fairies are so creepy in this game. Like what she's she's just scary looking. Paddle and you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning me to my broken and shattered body to normal. Great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer for now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of gratitude. Please accept it. I should end this episode after this little cutscene here. I'm going to ignore the controls and instructions. Man who lives in the observatory outside town may know of the school kids' whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate the child's power, kind one, kind young one. If ever you are or return to your former shape, come see me, I shall give you more help. Alright, well, thank you all for watching, like, subscribe, and share. If you like this video, click the annotation at the end to watch more. I am re I always seem to copy Markiplier's outros, but thank you all for watching. Lego Pikmin signing off.